Thank you for watching this product demo. Please refer to the Landsweeper API documentation for more information. Let's import our bulk export based template into Power BI service. First, log into your Power BI service portal. Next, click on the workspace option, the left navigation bar, and select the workspace that you would like to import the dashboard template into. Here, I'll select the demo video workspace. Next, click on the new button and select the upload file option. Now selected the provided file named Sample Landsweeper Dashboard PBIX. Now let's refresh the dashboard so that we can see the imported file. As you can see, the dashboard template has been imported. Now to configure the dashboard template, click on the Data Hub option in the left navigation bar. Now for the imported data set, named Sample Landsweeper Dashboard PBIX, let's click, click on the Option button and select the Settings options. In the Settings window, expand the data source credentials and there you'll see two items each having Edit Credentials options. For each of them, open up the Edit Credentials, set the Authentication method to Anonymous. For the Privacy level, set this to Public, click the Skip Test Connection checkbox and then click Sign In. Now expand the parameters section and provide the values for the Landsweeper identity code, the Landsweeper ID and the export your base URL. Click the apply button. After applying the changes, refresh the report and the data set. To refresh the data set, click on the data hub option in the left navigation bar. Now select the imported database, that is the sample Landsweeper dashboard PBIX. In the top bar, you can see the refresh icon and you can select this option now. Once the loading is complete, we need to update the data set. To update the report, click on the workspaces where you've imported the data set. I'll go to the demo video workspace over here. Click on the report that is the sample Landsweeper dashboard PBIX and you will be able to see this icon next to it, the item. This is our report, click on it. From the top bar, click on Edit, and now you'll be able to see the Refresh option in the top bar. Refresh now and wait for the task to be completed. Thank you for watching.